the time has come to deal with the delicious and nutritious freshwater tank, which is totally sarcastic because it's absolutely horrific inside. Unfortunately, the freshwater tank is under multiple layers of plywood, um, all of which need to be removed as well as the pillows to get in there. And of course, this was kind of our storage area for the time being, so everything has now moved out into the saloon. And I also need access to this panel to get in down there to the water pressure system, which you can see the strainer there for it. But uh, my plan is to run it through the water pressure system. The sea strainer there grabs all of the nastiness and then I am able to open it up and get the nastiness out of it. Unfortunately, if you recall in some of my previous videos, I cannot find any sort of cutoff valve for the water supply. So when I take that strainer off, the water starts coming out, um, which is not very fun. So I'm gonna keep looking, see if I can find a cutoff valve, but I really cannot seem to find one because the only place it would exist is somewhere between the water connection uh, down there, um, which you can see right there, flows down, goes underneath, I'm assuming under here somewhere, and then comes and then connects in there. I did put some bleach in there. I have some, some good, um, you know, standard household bleach. Dumped that in there just to help try to break up any of the algae, you know, if possible. Um, just so it doesn't gunk up the system too much. Mmm. Tasty, tasty. It's looking good. Oh boy! It's coming out fast. Works way better than pushing it through the entire water system. Damn, I think I emptied that tank so fast. Basically, I have an old, um, not an old, it's actually a new spare bilge pump. It's a 750 uh, gallons per, I guess it's gallons per hour, um, pump. And got it hooked up to just a 12 volt line here. Little switch runs back, plugs into the cigarette lighter back there. So it was going way too slow with just pushing the water through the, the water pressure system and then have it come out the sink. Plus I don't have to keep cleaning that sea strain. That'd be a huge pain in the ass. So yeah, this thing, this thing goes really fast, which is nice. <laughs> so um, it actually goes so fast, the sink almost overflows. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill her up again, put some more bleach in there um, and then flush it out a, uh, another time here. Round two. Very, very stressful. Uh, that water's coming up. <laughs> Got a nice, uh, nice whirlpool funnel down in there. You can see the pump back in there doing its job. Found this little scrub brush too, which is really nice. I was scrubbing the inside. You know, it's got a handle so it can reach all of the uh, walls of the tank, which is really nice. So I figured out if I actually put the tube directly into the drain there. It actually has enough capacity to get it just out. It has enough capacity to, to force the water outside the boat. So that's a little bit less stressful. Got the sink filling up. You can still hear it a little bit going through. Um, I filled it up, went ahead and filled it up um, almost to the brim and I know you're supposed to let the bleach sit for a while. I'm just trying to get all the gunk out. Um, before I actually refill it, you know, with the bleach and really let it sit overnight. Um, I'd like to get all the all the algae and other crud that's in there. So I've been spraying it every once in a while just to move everything around so it goes towards the pump and then gets sucked out. And a lot of it was coming out. I saw a lot back before I started putting the hose directly into the, the sink there. Um, there was uh, quite a bit of that, that stuff coming out, which is good. Good sign. 
So here is a clean freshwater strainer. I should have filmed it with all the gunk in it before, but I totally forgot because I'm in a rush as it's starting to get dark out. I wanted to get out there while there was still light. And there, I'll take my headlamp off, is some of the delicious sludge. So that's what the strainer was completely covered in and that was what was in the tank so unfortunately there was a lot in the strainer already from when I was uh, running it and straining it kind of the really dumb and inefficient way <laughs> so I just got to get that out now and uh, I'm almost I think I'm almost there with the pumping process but all right let's use some modern technology to check out what the inside of the tank looks and let's also hope that I don't drop my camera because this is not a GoPro. I can see the viewfinder from here. take a look at the video now <laughs> so remember when I said how I felt this sink here is a very odd addition to the boat I still think it's kind of odd but I do have to admit it was extremely useful in troubleshooting and I guess kind of fixing or refurbishing the water tank the fact that I have a drainage point as well as both hot and cold water, all while I'm within kind of like reaching distance of the water tank is actually really, really nice. <laughs> My apologies, Mr. Sink, for saying you were strange before. I take it back. I like that you do exist. This boat is a wreck. I finally got the bleach in the tank, so I have it filled up completely all 75 gallons. Bleach is sitting there overnight. I also ran on um, both hot and cold taps to get the bleach all the way through the lines. So I'm just going to let it sit for, for uh, the night and then tomorrow I'm going to start it back up and get all the bleach water out and then fill it up with some nice clean fresh drinking water. I did find out that unfortunately the shower sump which is down there in that plastic box there. Unfortunately, the shower sump does not work. So you might see some water around the sump box and that's because the water went all the way up to the top and comes through right where the wires are. So I'm guessing it's either a bad float switch or a bad uh, little bilge pump, but it's probably been sitting in there for water for who knows how long, so <clears throat> understandable. Good thing is I can just take that box out and it's actually the exact same uh, Atwood V750 <laughs> uh, pump that I used to pump out the fresh water tank. I haven't yet run water through the inlet there, which I probably should tomorrow just to make sure there's no growth or anything in there. Uh, I was going to do it tonight, but it's dark now and it's a little bit... Um, a little, little bit chilly out tonight. Um, but the other thing I realized is that that might look right because the water tank right now is full, but it always says full no matter what level the tank's at. So something's wrong with the fresh water um, tank monitor, and I'm wondering as well if something's wrong with the holding tank monitor. So I'm going to take a look at the holding tank tomorrow and visibly see what the level's at. So it is the next day and the water tank has now been fully cleaned out. 
Uh, it has sat overnight for about 16 hours, I want to say, uh, with some pretty bleachy water. I ran the bleach through the taps, or the bleached water through the taps as well, just so they sat in the taps for a little bit overnight. Um, and then earlier this morning, I went ahead and basically just turned on the one tap and let the water tank drain itself. Uh, filled it back up about halfway, drained it once more, and now the tank is fully filled and ready to go. Unfortunately, while I was doing all of this, I came to realize that the uh, water pressure pump, um, right next to it, there's what's called an accumulator. Uh, it, it basically evens out kind of the water pressure so that you don't get those quick jolts of um, water pressure when the pump kicks on. But right between the pump and the accumulator, there's a plastic joint down there. Uh, you can see that. So on the left here, that is the pump and that is the accumulator. So you can see that little white plastic piece there. It does have some of that Teflon tape on it, but unfortunately on the side um, where the accumulator is on the right there, the water is leaking out. Um, and you can see I, I did silicone it um, earlier today and let it sit for about four or five hours and turned it back on. And the silicone was pretty hard to the touch at that point, but unfortunately the water just kind of goes right through it. So I got the cover off and it's now much easier to access everything you can see the the problem is I really need to be able to pull that whole these whole three pieces out and then individually go and tighten them since they all have very large components and I can't just start go you know, rotating things because if I tighten one thing the other thing is going to loosen so and unfortunately I still can't believe it but this boat doesn't have the fresh water cut off so there isn't a way for me to just turn off the incoming water from the tank. So what am I doing now? I am draining the tank yet again, this time so that I can disconnect this line there and that one there, pull out these three pieces as one main, you know, big chunk and then go ahead and retighten specifically this joint there because it's leaking right on the accumulator side. You might have saw it drip up down. Uh, it's dripping about every 15 seconds or so. All right, so I took off the entire little trifecta there, the strainer, the water pressure pump, and the accumulator. Um, luckily when I drain the tank, the fresh water tank almost uh, completely empty, there isn't enough water um, in the tank to force it out by the strainer. Um, so that wasn't a problem, just drain it out till it was completely empty, um, or for the most part empty. Um, and then from there, I disconnected the water line to the rest of the boat, and then unscrewed the uh, pump and the accumulator from the hull and then basically just tightened it up. So I took it off, you know, used some wrenches and then tightened it up a little bit. Popped it back on. Um, oh, I also put some more uh, Teflon tape on some of the connections, the connections that I did um, take off. So those have been re-Tefloned, which is good. And you might actually notice everything looks a lot cleaner now. And that's because while everything was off, I went ahead and scrubbed down the inside here um, with just a little bit of cleaning solution and some paper towels. So it looks nice and clean compared to had a bunch of dirt and nastiness in there before. So it's looking good and I've been running it now for probably about 30 minutes with faucets on and off and on and off and all that and there is a no leaking at all. We are officially back together. I did spill some water when I was uh, cleaning out the strainer one last time. Unfortunately, my little plastic jug was off by a little bit. So I just have it open and I had the fan blasting some air in there earlier just to dry it out. 
but I just have some paper towels down there to act as kind of an indicator so I know that if anything has been leaking, it'll be damp next time I open it up. But it's looking good. We got our cold water. And I went ahead and turned on the hot water heater as well. So now we officially have a hot water as well, which I'm super excited about. It's a nice feeling being able to just turn that sink on and get hot water, cold water, all the water. Man, 